Good morning, friends, and welcome back. This is a canvas, but as you can see, it's very thin. The reason I'm using this is because they're a lot cheaper. They tend to be a lot cheaper than the canvases that you do your actual artwork on. So if you want to try this for the first time, it's better to use one of these very thin canvases, and I'll have the links down below. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can do this. And the first thing I want to do is chalk paint works as a very good base for acrylic paint. So I want to add some chalk paint and I'm using the Americana Decor Chalky Finish in the cover called Everlasting, which is their white. Now you can roll this on or paint it on. I'm actually using this rounded pouncer brush because it's going to give it a little bit of texture. You don't have to do this, it's just something that I'm doing. And I'm going to cover the whole thing with the chalky finish and put it aside to dry. Now while those are drying, I'm taking a fall themed napkin. So what I'd like to do is cut this out. And I'm going to first cut out a quarter panel and normally because napkins are three layers I'm going to pull one layer away so that there are still two layers left and now I'm going to take this repositionable glue stick press this down and this is just a piece of scrap paper that was going into recycling anyway and I'm going to cut this out using my decoupage scissors To cut away these large pieces first and now because these are small curved scissors and again the link will be down below to purchase these by the way thank you for going through my links to purchase some of your products that's been a big help to me thanks so much guys So once I'm all done cutting it, because we've used this repositionable glue stick, you can just pull away the top layer. And here's the other thing we want to do once we cut this out. I took out a bunch of fall colors, and the trick is I want to imitate a watercolor. And by the way, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. This really lovely British woman did a video, I think it was a couple years ago on YouTube, a hacks for artists of all types. And one of the things she said was you should use an ice cube tray for your paint palette, as your paint palette. So I'm going to use Viva Decor paints that are in similar colors. And I'll tell you which colors I use once I decide which ones. I'm going to use these diluted with water and put them over the chalk paint because that gives you a watercolor look and I'll show you what I mean. The first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush with water. You really should be using distilled water because it, it's non-acidic. It won't turn yellow uh, and it's not a pretty yellow. It's a very dingy yellow over the years. And you want to wet the surface. So on this palette, I've decided to use the Deco Art White Peach, Cadmium Yellow, and the Cadmium Red. And I'm going to go with that peach color more in the center here. I'm just wetting the palette. And I'm going with that peach color more in the center because that's where I'm going to place my napkin. And I want the napkin to be able to stand out so I need a lighter color there in the center. And around the outside, I'll put a little bit of these other colors. I like the way this is looking, just the way it is, so I'm not going to blot it. I'll just let these colors dry on here. So now that this is dry, I think it looks a little bit better through the 
camera. And what I'll do is place my sunflower over the center and I will decoupage this down. For this project, I'm just going to use my method of the dry decoupage where I start in the center and brush out using the Deco Art Napkin Decoupage Glue. So I'm going to, from the center out, start to place my decoupage glue. Keep reloading that brush. to add a couple of little birds that complement these colors just in a couple of spots on here. So I am taking these yellow beeswax pellets, and I think people use these to make candles. You can use them for other things, but for my purpose today, I am melting these, and I'm using this. I'll show you what I'm using. There's a light bulb under here. For a while there, these wax warmers were all the rage, right? So there's a light bulb under here and you'd put these wax pellets in and it would melt them and you'd have a nice scent in the room. I found that these beeswax pellets are a little bit harder to melt, but you can use one of these for that same purpose. So I have melted, it took a while to melt these tiny pellets and you want to brush that is a bristle brush. A chip brush is good. If you can find a dollar store chip brush or the hardware store that is just meant specifically for this purpose because you'll never be able to use it again. You either want to throw it out or save it to use it for these projects. We're going to put a, we're going to paint a layer of beeswax over our decoupage. We're going to make it look a little bit dreamy. So I'll show you how we'll do that. So our painting is now dry. Our painting and decoupage, it's now dry. These lines in high def look a lot more severe through the camera lens. They look a bit more blended when I'm not looking through the lens. So I like the way this is looking. Here's the brush I'm using. See, it's just a cheap old chip brush. And I'm going to dip it in the wax, these wax pellets. And I'm going to paint this over my surface. So you can see that the wax looks a little too heavy in one spot. So I'm going to do two things. I'm taking a heat gun and I'm going to put the heat gun on it and melt it. While I'm melting it, I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter in there so that the glitter melts into the beeswax. nice and soft and muted and it's got a bit of a dreamy look. You can play around with this heat gun a little bit. 
thin out those areas of wax and you want to be really careful with the heat gun you don't have to be quite as worried about wrinkles with the napkins because the wax covers a lot so does the glitter you can omit the glitter I don't recommend if you've ever, if you've never done this before I wouldn't do it on one of the thick canvases yeah. oh, this know. is a pad that has these canvases in them so just in case you felt more comfortable with practicing first I'll put a link below so that you can get the, you can get a pad I have different colors in here obviously from the first one this one is done with the fall colors but I did want to show you how it looked with a little bit of a different background and I used a lot less glitter in here I don't know if you could yeah now I can see it there's there's still glitter in there though but same napkins just different background colors but that same process so that's our video for the week this one has a lot more glitter in it which is why it looks like it's shiny there's just that much glitter in there and it's much more of a fall themed and this one has a much more muted look to it even though it has glitter it doesn't have nearly as much glitter in there and obviously a different colored background so I am trying my best to get up to a hundred thousand subscribers thank you you guys thank you so much for subscribing for sharing my videos and thank you for purchasing my book my book has actually been doing well upcycle with decoupage upcycle with decoupage obviously has the same name as my facebook page don't forget to go over and like and follow me on facebook on upcycle with decoupage and you'll get to see all the videos okay guys that's it for me for today i will see you guys next week with another video thanks my friends bye bye